Uh, oof. You guys have been putting a lot of work in this relationship. All right, y'all. So you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, sorry. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is here. <laughs> All right, you have the Page of Pentacles, guys, in your underlying energies. This is talking about an offer, potentially, that you guys either received or it was given that is, pro you know, spanning that longevity line right this is about long-term commitment hard work dedication but this is also long tedious work that's coming involved that's involved in this that may be not so exciting um at the same time now underneath here you have the ten of wands so you guys could have been just completed a cycle um and honestly it's been a, it's been a hell of a burden and now you have to you know now you got some, some something new coming up here um again something that is very valuable Hmm. Now, for some of you guys, you guys could be dealing with somebody that's long distance here. Um, but most importantly, this is about a transition, moving, uh, making some sort of progress in your relationship, right? M leaving behind some old ways of doing something, some old perspectives, some old ways of communicating to getting to a place where you are more, you know, it's more prosperous. There's new ways of, there's new newness everywhere. So you can start fresh. Um, it is a very difficult energy though, because it's, you know, these people here are not exactly happy about having to transition to move wherever they are going to but it's for the better right it's always for the better everything happens to us for a reason and always for our highest good um quote aquarian insight now and your guys' goal, you guys have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is talking about starting something new, starting something fresh, getting out there and really feeling like excited about something, about this passion happening in your relationship, new sense of passion coming into your relationship. Like you've guys been going through some stuff, right? You've been, you know, if this is again, long distance, this is definitely talking about transitioning from one phase to the next, okay? All right, but the, with the Ace of Wands, you guys want to start something new, something exciting, a new passionate beginning. You want to feel very passionate about your relationship. This could be also rekindling a relationship with some of you guys, um, with your partners here. You guys may have been moving on from a breakup here, and you guys are trying to reconnect with them again. Or this, you guys want to reconnect with them. But there's some stubbornness here that's keeping you guys from the Ace of Ace of Wands. This this new beginning, this excitement, this potential rekindling of a fi of a flame. Somebody's feeling very, 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 very stubborn. Um, their way of the highway and it has a lot to do with where they are wanting to be where, where this relationship is led or maybe there is some sort of there has been some progress there has been some sort of like destination achieved here in regards to either relationship or fit you know moving physically somebody's just stubborn um and their way of the highway non-compromising -com uh, uh you guys could be dealing with an aries but i feel like most importantly this is like some this this relationship here has definitely moved up in a higher place of commitment. So for those of you that um, that just broke up with somebody, maybe you guys are in a better place. Maybe not exactly moving up, but you're in a place that's, that's stable for you guys to branch off from. But for those of you that are in a relationship and you guys you guys have ascended seven the six of swords, you guys have moved into a higher place of commitment. But this individual has become stubborn and complacent. Okay. Nipper is not necessarily complacent. He's always doing something. He's very active, but he doesn't compromise. He doesn't really, he's not very open to suggestions. He's like, okay, well, yeah, okay, you've done that, whatever, before. I like my own way. Now, the thing here is, though, with your advice is coming up as the tower. It's like, it's almost like it's saying, okay, you know what? You just do you, guys. Just, you know, blow up the whole situation. Just blow it up. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the tower for you guys because that's an interesting card to get in your advice. It's just to just explode. Just, you know, just you know knock down this whole foundation okay you can't build something off of somebody not really wanting to work with you so yeah i guess blow it up is the best way to go just let it have let them have it the fool start something new taking a leap of faith going on your own i don't know i don't think this is a breakup card but i feel like it's just letting it out just kind of just doing you. Look at that Ace of Cups, even. And it could be that it's like, you know, I don't think it's breakup time, yo. I don't think so. I think it's just like letting it on thick. Just, it's just boom, explosion. You know, just, you know, you can't take it anymore. Fine. You know, that's cool. Do your own thing. What else can you tell us with the tower? As advice, Seven of Swords. Yeah, taking a risk, going outside of your comfort zone, doing you. Wow, guys, seriously, this is 
just as pretty darn crazy going outside of your comfort zone doing what you want to do just breaking the whole foundation just do you know just doing you if this person is not willing to compromise then what do you got i think it's just pretty much just destroying the whole foundation at the end of the day because that's what the tower does. He doesn't. It, it, the tower it knocks down the whole foundation, so that way you can rebuild and start fresh. And I feel like right now, it's pretty much saying it's time to just break down the whole foundation. Now it's just it is what it is. You know, the tower is saying like just do what you feel like you need to do in regards to just knocking this stuff down. Somebody got complacent because of this, and it's time to knock it down. You want to be complacent? Fine. You don't have no foundation now. So what you gonna do? Right. Okay, Gemini, I'm all hyped for you and stuff, okay? Now, for your feelings, you guys have the Ace of Cups. You are wanting to start something new. You guys are emotionally starting something new. You have the Ace of Wands here that's, you know, that you want to start something new and exciting. And emotionally, you have this new awakening of love, okay? This is great. You guys want to start something new in love. And this person's not interested? Bro, come on. Like, oh my goodness. With this Ace of Cups, though, you guys feel like you guys, um... Because this is new love, this is new beginnings and you know healing and emotional openness. Like you guys are feeling emotionally open. And I feel like with this hopes and fears, you want to manifest something that's honestly, you know, that you've been you know, that you can handle. Something you feel prepared, you feel um you feel ready potentially, or you hope that you're ready for this. But at the end of the day, you just it's like you do have everything that you need. The magician always has what he needs, and what he needs is himself. Because without him, he wouldn't be able to execute any of the spells, any of the things that he wants to manifest into his life. It takes the person itself to manifest. You do have everything you need. It can be a little scary to do something like this to kind of knock the foundation down and just be like, you know what? No, look, we, we're doing this a totally different a totally different way, knocking down the structure. I, like I said, I don't see a breakup. For some of you guys, it could be a breakup. You guys couldn't end a break with somebody. You're just like, you know what? I'm done. You doing? Yeah, I'm dealing with so much. I'm not doing this. But I feel like this is. I don't see any breakup cards. I don't feel like. I don't feel like this is breaking up. I feel like this is just knocking stuff down, like breaking that foundation, just putting your fist through it and saying, "Screw it. We're doing this a totally different way." And you've gotten too. You've gotten too comfortable with it. It's time to be real. It's time to start doing something that you know we. That, you know that I like or something that we can compromise on because you're not willing to do that. And the magician, I feel like there's some. You know, you guys could be afraid of being talked out of it. You could be afraid of, you know, not being prepared, but the magician got everything he needs. And you guys are in air signs. Gemini's, you guys are good with your words. You guys can come up with some things to say. Okay. Especially if it's in the in the direction of which you want to be. Yeah. Okay. Now in your outcome you have the seven of pentacles. So this is about you know and the seven of pentacles comes up. It's like there's a lot of work ahead of you, but you're starting to see the progress of the of the work that you've been putting in. You're starting to see it. It's great. Finally Hard work you're putting in, starting to pay off. However, it's not exactly at the period or the point where you want it to be, but it's okay. If you if you really, you know, it's just going to require you guys to reestablish the com the commitment that you have to the situation and really work on it. Really work on it, especially when you you when you're planning on breaking down the foundation, knocking this stuff down. You know, the, the advice is just like let it be, just boom explode let it happen take a risk go on your own do what you need to do right not necessarily go on your own because i don't see that hermit right it's just talking about isolation doing things by yourself but it's taking a leap of faith and doing something that's outside of your comfort zone starting a new beginning with you know starting a new beginning starting something new absolutely just by cut and dry just destroying it so you can build it back up and have something at least somewhere in the direction of which is a little more stable a little more serious a lot more in the direction in which you're trying to go because you're trying to move on from this but this person's like no i like it here i like it at this four of wands this is comfy i like it let's keep working at this and still no we can't do nothing here dude we can't do anything here man we gotta move we gotta keep going this way we gotta move on we gotta get no, you, you're stuck at the four of wands celebrating. We have a relationship. Yes, we do, but we have to keep moving. We have to keep moving forward. We can't stay here. The four of wands, even if it wasn't even, even if the six of swords, the emperor was here, wasn't even here, you can't stay here anyway. You have you celebrate it, let it go. You celebrate it, awesome. You have it, move on. This person is not moving on. That's stressful. I can understand how that could be so annoying, but. The tower's coming up. It's just let, just, just doing it, doing something new, having some, do something new. 
Let's start something fresh. Start something new. Break down that foundation. All right, Gemini, we see you. It's like, this is getting boring, man. The Page of Pentacles is like, okay, Gemini, you're just like Aries in some ways. You don't like being bored, especially not in your relationships. Healing old, healing family issues comes out. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Forgive your parents. Okay, so that means just like, you know, letting go of the past or releasing the past. You know, it ha whatever happened in the past between you and this individual happened, you I feel like you guys have been. Why else would the tower come up? You guys have like, look, we've been here before. It is what it is. You try and move on and you can't because somebody is holding on and cl clinging on to the past. We can't do this. That's what I feel like y'all are saying. But you guys are like Aries. You don't want to be bored. Page of Pentacles, boring as hell. It's boring. You want something new. You want something new. You want to be that Gemini. You want to be that fire. That want to be that energy that picks up and goes somewhere. But it's not going anywhere. It's just the same old stuff. It's like, ah, I need something new. I need something fresh. And that's what I'm getting from you guys. And it's so, so understandable. All right. So let's see what the whispers of love is saying for you guys this week. Oh, wow. It says, look at your patterns in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize what you need to change or modify in your relationship. Okay. You know? And then, you know what? For some of you guys out there, the emperor could be you, right? You guys could be like, okay, you're making this transition, but you guys are stubborn in regards to moving. You guys just need to take a step back. Well, not a step back. You guys need to take a step, a huge step forward. Just go ahead and do it, right? Maybe you guys, maybe this is you. You guys got, you know, are stubborn about where you guys have been. You feel like you're happy with this, but there is no staying here. And you kind of have to go ahead and just take that leap of faith. Do the unexpected. Make that be the radical change, which is just doing what you need to do, which is starting something new and taking a risk. Because this maybe there's somebody else that's here and they want to start something new, but you're stuck at this. It's time to move forward, get out of this comfort zone, and make this relationship happen. You know you have new stuff coming in. It's boring anyway. But I don't, now that's why I'm saying I don't know if this is you. But some of you guys may be out there, right? Some of you guys may be like, I like it here. Some of you guys do, but the tower is saying it's time to do something. It's time to make something happen. <laughs> 